uh, a disaster. I want to bring in now Main Street Asset Management LLC Chief Investment Officer Aaron Gibbs. So, Aaron, here's a funny thing. Uh, we get your notes, right? <laughs> Looking at a list of the most oversold stocks in the S&P 500, <laughs> yeah. and it's, the inference is obviously that they're bargains. You may want to look to buy them. I put an arrow next to the ones that you'd already had on your list. No coincidence. Yep. Well, coincidence, yes. Yeah. Uh, that. No, don't buy these things. In fact, they shouldn't be in your portfolio anymore. Yeah, and I, I think one of the big themes is we're seeing is that there is some softening in consumer buying. Right. Oh, that's part of the theme. Um, and that's sort of your Expedia, your Starbucks, your Ulta specialties. Um, the Fed released an interesting note saying that about $2 billion of excess savings has been used up. So now consumers are actually just having we're to minus use... $72 billion. Right, exactly. <laughs> minus $72 billion. We still have strong wages, but consumers are going to be a little more selective. Right. And so companies that are very highly valued had really lofty expectations are the ones that are going to get hit. So be very careful about those. The other thing that we're seeing is semis. And semis are get the non-AI, essentially everything but NVIDIA, uh, is getting hit hard. And so even when you look at some of these target prices, it's going to take a long time for them to come a back. Long a time. long time for them to recover. You know what I find also interesting? I'm looking at CVS, Intel, Akamai. Uh, and even even uh, Starbucks, then some of the other names from your list, Disney. What I see are companies that have just been disappointments for a long time. Right. Like, they, I mean, listen, they don't just, I don't know why people think all of a sudden management that's, that's fumbled the ball, you know, for eight quarters or two years, all of a sudden they're going to become brilliant. I, it usually doesn't happen that way, right? Exactly. And when we're seeing missed revenues, slowing revenues, and we're seeing, and we know that consumers are feeling a bit more of a pinch, they're going to be more selective. These mismanaged companies are not the companies that you want to go to. Right, right. And so uh, these are just your avoids or get out if you still own them. You know, them. I mean, it's just, it comes down to management, execution, and if they're not executing, they just do not necessarily figure it out. Okay, areas that are cooling down. You've already kind of talked about the consumer. Right. Technology in general, you think is cooling down? So, te technology very more specifically, really, it's about internet services and some of the semis. So, very specific industries. I think there are areas in technology that are still doing really well, um, but it's, again, it's how you execute. There was a lot of lofty hopes for internet services to use AI to become more profitable. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, after the first quarter report, we've seen that that just hasn't been coming through. It looks like there's going to be a lot more competitiveness. It's going to take a little longer. And so if you're going to bet on AI, there are a lot of other opportunities right. through energy and, and through other uses versus internet services. You know, it's interesting because I had the conversation with Ed Yardini in A Block, and a lot of times we tend to put the story, build the story and a success into the stock price before it actually happens. Right. It's not unusual. Right. You like the small cap area, uh, small cap themes, energy, LPG. Yeah, Dorian LPG. Uh, so again, this is about natural gas, uh, similar to what Ed was saying, and just the energy use from the AI. Uh, so I think this is a nice security. It's trading at six and a half times earnings. There is very little room for it to really tank. It's right. so You'll well valued. So I love the risk reward on this one. Industrials, uh, Geo, it's global security. I think, again, getting out of like your consumer, moving more into industrials right. is another safe bet. Uh, and then semis. There are semis that are doing well. Um, and this is more about reshoring, but Vico. Um, it's about providing those materials for the semiconductors who are not necessarily making the semiconductors. I got 30 seconds. I'm going to ask you about the, uh, the, well, I don't have a chart for it, but the consumer, it's pretty obvious now, really starting to feel inflation. Yeah. Right? I mean, uh, and some of these, uh, McDonald's call, talked about it, I think Starbucks. I know a lot of these big names. Yeah, that, a lot of these names right, are mentioning right. it. So, so stay away from that area as well, right? Right. So anybody where you're you know, having to pay a premium, where a consumer could shift into a lower price product like a Starbucks um, or an even Ulta a Beauty, very specialty retail, retail. Yeah. The consumers can simply cut back, not buy that one more pair that one more lip gloss, right. one less eyeliner, I, uh, another option that, that I saw another great on. chart that showed the uh, percentage of uh, generic um, offerings, you know, in terms of market share yep. going up, even and as their prices get even more discounted to the uh, to the uh, high price label stuff. Yeah, great so stuff. Don't overpay. All right, don't overpay. <laughs> don't That's overpay. a good one. <laughs>